Welcome back students in today's lecture I am going to discuss the topic cycloidal curves before going to trace the cycloidal curve we are supposed to look at the question whether it is a epicycloid or hypocycloid or the general cycloid by looking at the question we are supposed to understand it belongs to which type of curve let's look at the question a circle of dia 50 rolls on a fixed straight line for one complete revolution without slipping trace the curve and name the curve also locate tangent and normal at a distance of 30 from the directing line like if you look at this question here we have a fixed straight line as well as only circle so the fixed straight line where the circle is moving upon it is nothing but a general cycloid getting dear students low so as the radius of the circle as the diameter of the circle 50 is given with radius 25 we are supposed to trace the circle first later where the circle is moving the circle is moving on a fixed straight line for one complete revolution and the terms like without slipping comes in the question paper we are supposed to recognize that belongs to a curve called as general method now once the circle is divided into four equal divisions a pa line to be traced the length of the pa line is equals to the circumference of the circle that is nothing but 2 pi r so put the value in the calculator upon calculation you are getting 2 pi r as 157 so the number of divisions you make the circle the number of divisions you are supposed to divide the pa line i am working out with the 12 divisions of the circle as well as the line why because finally we are going to get the smooth curve i hope you know how to divide the circle into 12 equal divisions if not please kindly go through this channel you will be getting the division of a line as well as division of a line concept how to divide as it is 157 when you divide 157 into 12 equal divisions that is around 13.08 which is not equal to 13 neither 14 so you are supposed to divide even the pa line into 12 equal divisions so go to my channel and refer how to divide a line into 12 equal division dear students so upon division of these 12 equal divisions we are going to work out the general construction to trace the general method curve so let's look at the uh, the drafter need to be placed in such a way perpendicular so that meeting the zero point and locate a point on the uh, paper taking the reading of the circle as 25 as the diameter is 50 with radius 25 we are supposed to locate a circle draw the curve with the radius in H pencil until and unless I say way to use the HB pencil till then you are supposed to work out all your drawings only in HB pe H pencil later locate a perpendicular I mean the horizontal as well as the vertical position along with the drafter and locate a point P where upon calculation 2 pi r we got it to be as 157 millimeter if I am not writing any unit next to the value by default it is nothing but millimeter dear students so this is 15 this later 15.5 and this is 157 so make sure to draw a 157 millimeter line from here and naming this as p as a starting point and the ending point as a later as i told we are supposed to divide the circle as well as the line into 12 equal divisions so as we know how to divide is P each point as the center cutting either sides an arc make sure to draw only a simple point arc while cutting an arc do not highlight much in it so why because it should not be highlighted so next this as the center and cutting either sides of the arc later this as the center cutting either sides of the arc this is how you are supposed to work out division of a circle later join with the drafter only do not draw join the lines with the plane scale that may not give you the exact line so all the diagonal lines make sure of drawing them with the pencil as well as the drafter only dear students so this is how you are supposed to divide the circle so upon division of a circle we are supposed to work out even division of a line if you are getting exact decimal of the division you can go directly with the scale pointing if not you are supposed to follow the division of a line concept dear student 
now I am going to divide the line P A also into 12 equal divisions. I hope you know how to work out that later with the compass P as the center cut the marks on it. This is 1 later 2, 3, 4, 5 so on cut till 12th division 6, 7 and 8 upon construction you are supposed to join the last division to the A line. So, till now we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Without disturbing your compass, you are supposed to divide this PC line into 12 equal divisions. So, the 12th and the last division need to be marked to the, the last point that is nothing but A. Fix your drafter in such a way that the parallel lines to be drawn to get the equal division dear students. So, this is how you are supposed to divide a line into any number of divisions and the easiest method to get exact divisions. Hope you are following my channel and working out all the drawings accordingly. Please make sure to use different pencils at different point and try to understand which pencil to be used where. Dear students, this is how you are supposed to divide a line into 12 equal divisions. Later, from the center of the circle, we are supposed to locate a locus of center is a line passing from the center of circle and parallel to PA line. So, this line need to be marked uh, parallel to it and drop a perpendicular to this stating that this is O and this is B and this is B. OB is a locus of center. Later, you are supposed to mark the perpendiculars from PA line to the OB line. Try to drop all the perpendiculars reaching the point OB where for a cycloid a center position is not going to vary. The circle is called as generating circle or the rolling circle or the moving circle and the fixed straight line. The PA line is called as directing line or the fixed line and the line passing from the center of circle is called as locus of center. This is how you are supposed to trace to get the center positions on the OB line stating this as O1 and O3. Randomly you try to work out the letters and numbers as per the lettering standard. Later we are supposed to give a rotation to the circle. So we are supposed to work out the parallel lines even from the circle. This is the direction of the circle where it is going to move upon a fixed straight line. So, make sure that your arrow heads and the letters and the numbers to be in a standard format to score a better mark. Later, we are supposed to draw the parallel lines from the circle reaching the OB line till the end. Make sure that either than 12 as well as the 6th point, all the lines will be mating if your division is exact. Only the 6th point and the 12th point will be a single line whereas the remaining all will be two divisions as the division of circle as per the division of circle. Now upon the construction we know that this is being 1 and later 2 skipping the numbers and make sure to write the letters and numbers in skipping and it is not required to write all the letters and number dear students and make sure to highlight your paper in such a way that the evaluator is supposed to mark out of out mark when looking at your sheet. Make sure to work out accordingly and do focus sharp your pencil from time to time. Upon general construction we are supposed to measure the I mean the radius is radius of the circle with the compass and O1 is the center I mean OB is the locus of center O1 O2 so on is the center O1 is the center and cut the P the first line the first and the eleventh line wherever the parallel line you have drawn you have to make an arc. This point is called the point of intersection along one rotation of the circle with one that is P1. Similarly go to O2 and check the second line and cut the second line. Similarly O3 as the center cut the third line. Later O4 fourth line. Make sure that the center as well as the lines are mating and you are supposed to work out the similar line positions accordingly. Do not confuse yourself O3 cut the third line, O4 fourth line. This is a fourth line sorry I have drawn here. 
So that is the reason you are supposed to write the letters and numbers in order to avoid the confusion among the different types of lines. This is O5, the fifth line, O6, sixth line. Similarly, try to drop to the left, to the right and O7, seventh line, O8, cut the eighth line. Make sure to check the lines, the parallel lines and cut them accordingly. O9, ninth line and O10, tenth O11, 11th, finally you are going to reach O12, we will be cutting the beneath line. This is how you are supposed to trace the points later. Take the H pencil and mark all these points from P a dots. Do not draw directly uh, the final mark. Why? Because you won't be getting a smooth curve. Try to use H pencil to draw these dots till beneath, I mean till the A point so that you will be getting a smooth curve later take hb pencil and without lifting your hand you are supposed to work out the curve where you are going to get the final curve that is with hb pencil trace all these points to get a final smooth finishing curve so that we are going to finish the construction of construction of I got bit difference here make sure you use properly and work out this is how you are supposed to work out the construction of cycloid a general method where a fixed straight line will be given as well as the circle diameter will be given where you are supposed to work out and highlight only the curve later it is also asked in the question that to locate the tangent and normal at a distance of 30 from the directing line as I told this is our directing line from here we are supposed to locate we are supposed to locate the 30 position 30 position of the directing line so from here you are supposed to locate wherever you reach 30 this is 30 point dear students 30 is a point taking your compass radius is radius of the circle I mean radius is 25 O as the center O as the center cut the locus of center cut the locus of center later draw a perpendicular to the directing line why because it is asked to draw from here and this is the radius of the circle where you are touching this point to the locus of center let this r be 25 make sure to highlight your letters and numbers very neat at the end of the drawing let this be n what i have done here is 30 try to take from the right 30 as a point on the curve point let this be m and this point as the center radius is radius of the circle cut the arc let that be c and drop the perpendicular let that be n with hb pencil join n to m join n to m that is the normal to the curve later for this line this is the perpendicular so make sure to take the scale onto the point m and locate or draw a line passing from m to the curve such that that is your tangent to the curve this is how you are supposed to work out the construction of cycloid dear students and later you are supposed to work out the lettering and numbering as per this formats i am showing a sample sheet of one of my student you can go through it how you are supposed to write the letters and the numbers and the dimension and the dimension of the circle is also given and no need of writing the radius r once again once pi is given and the directing line this is done and look at the standard way of lettering and numbering this is how you are supposed to work out the construction of general method uh, dear students hope you are getting this and hope you are liking my videos and subscribe to my channel for latest notifications on engineering graphics